this other warm up drill, we're basically going to try and mobilize the tibia in towards internal rotation. At the same time, we should see the foot and the ankle kind of propagating that movement that we're trying to, uh, to have happen through the lower leg. At the same time, we're also mobilizing up in a knee flexion. <clears throat> so the starting position is uninvolved side leg straight, involved side knee bent, just to a comfortable range of knee flexion. Uh, definitely doesn't need to be barely any knee flexion, it needs to be quite a bit. And then we're just going to turn the foot in slightly. And <clears throat> the person that's receiving the treatment just needs to think about maintaining contact with their arch and the inside part of their foot. So they're just turning that bone in a little bit. And then the person that's actually doing the mobilization is just going to find the <clears throat> basically the, the joint line here and then palpate down so they feel the upper part of the tibia and fib and the base of your hand in between your thumb and your fingers, so right along here, is just gonna lay on the top part of that tibia and fibula so that the fingers can kind of wrap around the joint line. So the fingers are kind of nestled in between the kneecap right here. And then basically what will, have, what will happen is the mobilization is just gonna be a straight anterior posterior, so you're pushing forward and backwards. And it's just a nice gentle glide, you're almost like pumping the joint. And as that occurs, you'll see the foot and the ankle rolling in each time that there's that compressive force placed on the front of the knee. You can also push, push, push with a nice rhythm and then push and hold. And then you can also do more high velocity type stuff, trying to drive that joint into that range of motion. It should be very gentle. And basically it should just feel a little bit better to be able to flex the knee and the lower leg should be mobilized a little bit better, easier to get into dorsiflexion, pronation, knee burning. Usually for this one, I'll, do, I'll just do it for like a minute 90 seconds, I'll just get in a rhythm and go, and then I'll try and hold at the end for a two or three count, maybe up to 10 depending on the person, and then let them go.